Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love, what's been going on in the recent past, in the present, who you might be dealing with, and the possible outcome as well. So let's get some insight here for you. For Aries. Spirit Angels, guys. What messages, what guidance do you have for Aries regarding love, relationships? We'll start with what's been going on in the recent past. Spirit, what's been going on for Aries in love in the recent past? Energy for Aries in the recent past. Oh, I got the two cards. Okay, Empress, the Empress, and the Six of Pentacles. So, some of you are being asked out or have had someone interested in you. Um, I'm getting that with the Six of Pentacles, almost like someone's like extending a hand to this Empress energy. But others of you, I feel like you're coming to a balance where you know your worth. You know what you bring to the table. You know that you're able to manifest, create a reality for yourself regarding love, regarding, you know, your future partner, etc. Um, some of you are like in a, in a period of growth, you know, like you're just growing as a person, as an, in, as a partner, as an individual. Tell me about this six of pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Aries? Queen of Swords. See, I still see that some of you are being like talked to, like someone is talking to you because you're showing up as an Empress, right? Like that's the connection there. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy with the Queen of Swords. And then for that group of you that's understanding your value, your worth, it's like you have clarity now as a Queen of Swords. The truth is very clear to you and I, I feel like you're not taking any crap either when it comes to love you're not just taking anything that comes your way what's going on in the present energies here for Aries I feel like cards want to come out but they're not <laughs> what's going on in the present energy for Aries in love present energies for Aries in love this one wow the ace of pentacles an offer an opportunity coming in something with a lot of potential for more what's the current energy for Aries in love spirit current energy for Aries in love current energy for Aries Wow, the Ten of Pent uh, Ten of Swords, sorry. And bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles. So many queens have come out so far. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there with the Queen of Pentacles. But when I see the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles here, I think you're okay. You're all right. Maybe you are the one that brought about this ending. Um, the Ten of Swords is a difficult ending. It's the end of a cycle. It is something that is you're not meant to really come back from you're meant to just move on from it essentially i kind of love that it's with an ace of pentacles though it's like something in your life aries has wrapped up and here's a new opportunity for you some of you could have gotten out of a relationship others of you could be letting go of an old attachment um i feel like you're ready for this ace of pentacles to come in for you and you're going to be okay. I feel like you're going to be okay no matter what happens, no matter what has happened recently or what's going on right now for you, whatever cycle's ending for you, um, you're going to be okay. What are the challenges or issues here for Aries? Any challenges, issues, obstacles for Aries at this time, Spirit, when it comes to love? The sun. Clarity is what I'm seeing because the seven of swords is at the bottom of the deck. 
So seeing someone clearly able to see the red flags, able to see people's intentions, able to understand people's intentions. I feel like you're not very happy or fulfilled if this is a challenge. If the sun's in the challenge position, um, maybe you've been deceived. Maybe you've been hurt by other people. Maybe love has just not worked out for you, Aries. And let me know in the comments if that's resonating. What are the challenges or blocks? The challenges or blocks. for Aries temperance Sagittarius energy coming back into balance harmony resolution patience yeah this has to do with the past or a past person um, it's like you're understanding something you're arriving at some sort of a conclusion or there's something being that needs to be resolved from the past um, this is a challenge or an obstacle to you Maybe you're waiting for that soulmate and they just haven't arrived. You know, you haven't gotten that happiness that you've been waiting for, searching for. Let's get some energy oracles out here. I'm going to start with the Ever After Oracle deck. This is available now on my Etsy shop. It's linked down below. And so is the other deck I'm going to be using over there, the PS I Love You deck. Those two are already available. What's the energy here for Aries in love? What's the energy for Aries? Magic lamp. Wishes, choices, desires. So maybe you have something in mind that you want uh, regarding love or regarding a partner or person. Maybe you have a wish that's going to be granted soon. A desire that is going to be granted soon. Because Ace of Pentacles is here. I cannot ignore that. Overall energy, please, for Aries. Once upon a dream, I know you, that gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. Past lovers, soulmates coming together. Some of you are coming together with a soulmate. Doesn't have to be someone from the past. It's just a soulmate and that's a wish, a desire you've had. And that's like coming towards you. Now, Secret Grotto is at the bottom of the deck. Keepsakes, gifts, mementos. I think there's going to be, I don't know. It's almost like this is going to be like a gift from spirit or an opportunity from spirit. Maybe there are memories that you have with someone. If they're a past life connection or someone from the past, could be someone from the past, but I don't see that for all of you. And there's like something special that keeps you to kind of um, connected in a way. Um, but I, I feel like most of you, this is going to be a wish, a desire that's granted by spirit. Um, and it's coming after this, this 10 of swords, this has to happen first. Something needs to have already ended or come to a conclusion here. Um, I'm going to also use the Stellar Energy Oracle. This is not available yet. Um, I'm still working on this design. The back of this design, this design you see here, is going to change. I just think it's too similar to this uh, Ever After. Um, but the front design will be the same. It's a lot of the same cards as the original deck. It's just a little bit more cleaned up. I've changed like a few of the images, not many. What's the energy here for Aries? One more, please, Spirit. One more energy. Oh. Wedding bells. Marriage, commitment, union. Wedding bells are ringing. Some of you could be getting married to this person coming in. Maybe you, that's one of your wishes, your desires. Uh, true love is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is what you want. I'm speaking to an Aries that I think wants to settle down, wants to be with their person, um, wants this connection to happen. I don't think it's happening just yet, but I do feel like there's someone already in your midst here. Um, it's like there's an opportunity that comes after, you know, some sort of ending takes place or something, 
a cycle wraps up for you. So let's ask about this person. Spirit, tell me more about this person, this person that is coming towards Aries or Aries is dealing with. What do we need to know about this individual? What do we need to know? The devil and the two of pentacles. Capricorn energy there with the devil and the two of pentacles. This person has been busy. Yeah, there's judgment. This person has been busy with a karmic situation or a difficult situation in their own life. Um, I feel like they have a lot going on right now. They're going through a cycle themselves with judgment here. Judgment leads to the world, leads to some sort of completion, right? And judgment is all about past lessons, past mistakes, things that have already taken place. You're kind of realizing something about that. Um, let's look at this um, two of pentacles. It could be someone that has Capricorn in their chart. Or this devil energy is representing some sort of restriction, addiction, unhealthy attachment, unhealthy or toxic environment. But I want to know what this Two of Pentacles is about. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person, you know, they're. I think they're working on an opportunity that they want to have. There's the Emperor, bottom of the deck, Aries energy, there you are. I feel like this offer is something they think about in the midst of all of this drama that they're dealing with. Yeah, there's the Page of Swords. So they're either observing you while they deal with this situation or they want to talk to you about what they want to achieve, right? Because the Emperor is a decisive person, a doer. The Emperor would definitely get this Knight of Pentacles delivered, right? Like this offer or opportunity would be had by this Emperor. I think this person is also thinking, I don't want to bring Aries an offer. I don't want to come towards Aries unless I've dealt with this situation here. Let's ask about this devil. Spirit, why is the devil here? What can you tell me about the devil? What can you tell me about the devil? The chariot. Yeah, they're leaving this behind. Cancer energy. This is something that, you know, the person that's coming towards you, Aries, or the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with in the future, um, they're leaving a difficult situation behind. They're walking away from something, trying to make a move, trying to, like, release themselves. They're, like, working to free themselves, this person, so that they can be with you, come towards you. Because the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, very similar energies. So where's all of this headed? We're going to look at where all of this is headed in the near future. And Aries, if you're enjoying this reading, oops, I didn't even like shuffle. If you're enjoying this reading, uh, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already. So you can see more videos from me. Spirit, where is this headed in the near future? What are the possible outcomes here for Aries for this connection? Possible outcome for Aries for this connection. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune, holy crap. Um, I'm getting uh, events unfolding that maybe happen very quickly or things that are set in motion that bring about new opportunities for you both. Uh, a lucky break, fate on your side, luck is on your side. Something that spirit is involved in. What else, what's the possible outcome here? For Aries. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, action, initiative, passion. Someone's taking advantage of this opportunity. Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, the star behind that Aquarius energy there. But what I'm getting is almost like someone has a hope or has faith in working together and healing something and making this happen. Um, I think that this King of Wands also represents this person coming forward, taking action towards you. The King of Wands is definitely one to take action, to take initiative, to take advantage of an opportunity. The King of Wands would not miss an opportunity. Spirit, tell me more about this King of Wands. 
Tell me more about this King of Wands. Wow, see? The Ace of Wands. Um, three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person is going to take an opportunity to have a new beginning. I don't think it's going to be easy because if they're disentangling themselves from somewhere, um, there's still things to deal with there um, with the Three of Swords. Yeah, justice after that. So it's like no matter what the difficulty is, things are going to work out with this person. Let's get a PS. I love you for them. We can get a little more insight into what they're thinking, feeling here. So tell me more about this person Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? Destined union. Oh my gosh, I just hit the tripod. Beautiful. A destined union between you both. I feel like this is a soulmate that's being like hand picked, hand delivered. What else? What else for Aries? What do we need to know for Aries? Burdens and obligations. Yes. So even though this is a destined union, the specific person that you are dealing with or that's coming towards you aries has something else on their plate they have something else they're working on dealing with something else that is an, a burden or an obstacle that they're having to kind of like resolve you know it's like a package deal unfortunately this is like what the cards what the cards have dealt for your connection i guess um the cards that have been dealt, I guess. But this is a destined union, so I don't see this burden or obligation slowing anything down too much or completely like derailing this connection. I don't see that. Bottom of the deck, I must confess that I am in love with you. Yeah, there are lots of serious feelings here. This could be somebody that reveals their feelings to you. Maybe they're the ones that tell you that they love you first. I feel like when you meet this person, it's like you, you just know. You just know you're meant to be together. This is the one for you. Um, I feel like a wedding or a commitment would happen you know, a little quickly. This could be the person you marry. Like I could see that for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much once again, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.